why this old school play is still one of the best plays in the game. Coming up next. Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Alright, so guys, want to talk about probably one of the best plays in the game. It's an old school play. Pros have been using it. Madden players have been using it for years. And I'm actually putting this out to you for some of the, some of the newbies. Uh, this is something I've never released on my channel, but I know how to do it. Uh, and it's a very phenomenal play to go ahead and throw into your scheme now now it's out of about a bunch formation and it's verticals four verticals and the way you run this you can run this play multiple different ways but this is one of the ways that a lot of the pro players use uh, and it, it is basically causes a huge dilemma against your opponent and a lot of pro players build this as a base play and they build off of it so um, if you want to see um, structures and how base plays build off of each other and how to build the entire scheme you can go to my patreon account uh, for a dollar you can access to a lot of the schemes I've actually rolled out to my, uh, to my patrons uh, to take their game to the next level so let's talk about four verticals is one of our base plays um, this is a phenomenal play uh, and let me show you how the pros set it up there's other ways to do it but this is how the pros set it up at least from what I've seen now, uh, defensively, we're going to go against basically man, man blitzers, and then we're going to go from there. Now, basically how the, the pros set this play up is they're going to max protect. We're going to streak up their tight end and then drag up their backside receiver, Robinson. So this is a concept. This is basically how it looks. Now, to get this, to make this play tick, what they do is they slide out the wide receiver, and then they, what they do is they snap the ball when he gets uh, like uh, on the side of the of the numbers, or at least until he gets to where he's going to stop. And then we just go ahead and pop that play. Now, what makes this play tick is that you've got these man beaters against man blitzes, uh, and I want to show you how conceptually this is. This play is designed to build a lot of man plays. All right, so against man coverage, uh, we've got, we, especially man blitzes, I'm going to block six. It's going to give me some time. And if I do pass protection, it's going to definitely give me, give me some time. So you can see here, the CPU is sending seven people. So this is this is borderline an engage eight. Seven people are coming after me. Someone will come in free, but because I can make a very fast and easy read, I'm going to get I'm going to get easy completions. Now, uh, one of the first areas of field we're going to look to is this little wheel route. And this wheel route, these wheel routes historically have designed to actually blow past man, man coverage. And I've got Darius Slay out here as a defensive back, so this is one of the best defensive backs in the, in the, in the game. But watch how Gabriel just toasts him. And I just do a nice little uh, pass lead, and he catches it and goes for a touchdown. But that's not my only option. I've also got this crossing route over here uh, by Patterson. He's going to go right across the middle of the field. He got in. He got uh, outside the leverage, so that's a nice little lob for another area of the field. And then I've got a check down right here for this little crossing route. So your you the user guy can't be in all three places at once. So you're going to be able to shred any guy that runs a lot of um, you know pincho buck blitzes and all that kind of stuff with this particular passing concept. Now against cover two, you're going to have kind of different reads here. We're going to go and drag up that backside receiver slant or, and put uh, Burton on a fly. We're going to look at that guy. He actually gets covered. I've got basically a tight end opportunity. I can go and hit him for a huge play opportunity down in the middle of the field. But uh, you're really looking more the inside of the field as opposed to the sideline. So I'm looking over here with this particular read. I'm watching the corner. If the corner actually starts giving me, takes his back and he actually puts his back towards the sideline, that's telling me I've got a cloud flat over there, and he's going to go and snag that ball if I throw this. I throw this route. So that's I'm going to check away from that. I'm going to do my next route. Now uh, right here you can see that this this guy got pressed. He got thrown off his thing, and he's trying to get across the field. And I know with this concept, with this 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 uh, basically crossing route over here and this fly route, this middle defender has to pick his poison 
and he always he typically goes for the crossing route, leaving the middle of the field wide open. So you got an easy, huge play opportunity right down in the middle of the field that you can do. Now, uh, say for instance he kind of covers up both of those things, you've got this little check down that you can actually hit, which is going to be this little crossing route. This will be wide open if if the guy's carry. So you can always go and check it down to this and and turn that ball up. So that's how cover a uh, cover two works. This is where that little drag is going to come into play. He's going to come into play, and then you've got this fly route that's actually going to come into play against cover two. What about cover three? Well, with cover three, you still want to look to the wheel route. Because a lot of times, the defender's not going to play that area of the field. You can actually get an easy completion. So we're going to look to the wheel route first and pop our opponent if we want to. But you've also got this little crossing route on the back end side that you can pop. So now you're actually hitting that crossing around on the back end side and he's going to have a hard time stopping that. So your first read is going to be this and just keep taking it. You want to keep your opponent cons like obsessed with this particular route because look there's nobody here. This is an easy 10 yard completion or more and you get a spoon move you can go house. But if he starts cheating down, if he starts sliding defenders over there, the way cover t uh, cover three works is that this or this route will be open on the back end side. And then obviously you've got the crossing route check down that you can go ahead and hit uh, against your opponent too. So he can't pretty much, he can't cross man everybody. Something's going to get open eventually. What about cover four show two? Well, once again, that little wheel route will be wide open. And you'll be able to go ahead and get a nice little completion down the sideline. Also, the sideline should be open too on the opposite side. So you'll, you'll be able to get a nice little completion on the back end side. And of course, you've got the check down right over the middle that you can go and get check it down to if he tries to start putting clouds out there. So essentially, same type of reads, really nobody out here. You can go and pop this for an easy completion. You've got the crossing route on the back end side. He's going to get uh, he's going to get some pretty good separation too. He's going to be able to get across the middle of the field. And then you've got the little check down that you can go ahead and drop it down to if he starts floating up and pick, a easy, uh, pick up another easy completion. So this pretty much beats every single coverage in the game. Yeah, your opponent is, you can, you can just use this play uh, as a base play in your scheme. Uh, and it really would drive them crazy. So there's a reason why the pros have been using it. There's a reason why people are still using it in Madden 20, when they've been using it since like Madden 16, Madden 17. So you want to throw this into your scheme if you haven't done so. Just have this play in your back pocket so you can pick up some pretty easy completions. So if you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button, and I'll be rolling out some more offensive and defensive tips coming up soon. So to my subscribers, thank you for your support. To my patrons, thank you for your support. And until next time.